Hi friends, this is Amanda from St. Paul's. I hope you guys are doing well, having a good day. Um, I'm excited for another bedtime story together. I'm outside, um, sitting on my back porch outside my house. This is one of my favorite places to read stories with you guys. Um, I'm super excited about our book. This is a new book that I just purchased um, at a bookstore here in Raleigh. I've heard a lot of great things and I just read it for the first time um, myself a few moments ago. So I can't wait to read it together. This book is called Anti-Racist Baby. Um, some of you may have heard your parents talking about things that are anti-racist or you've heard the word race or racism. Um, that's been a popular word um, in at St. Paul's and in our community and in our country the past few months. We've been talking a lot about race and what it means to be anti-racist. And this book is written for to be read to babies or to young children, just like yourself, um, because all people can talk about racism and what it means to be anti-racist. So in this book, um, we're gonna find lots of stories and pictures that talk about what it means to be an anti-racist baby, what it means to be an anti-racist child, an anti-racist boy, girl, um, what it means to be an anti-racist human being. So we're gonna learn about that together in this book. Um, so feel free to ask your parents questions, maybe from things that you learn in the story or to ask me questions. Um, would always love to talk with you more about what we're reading together. So let's get started with this week's book, Anti-Racist Baby. Anti-Racist Baby. This book is written by Ibram Kendi and it is illustrated by Ashley Luke Ashby. Luke Ashsky. It's a long last name. Anti-racist baby is, bor is bred, not born. Anti-racist baby is raised to make society transform. Babies are taught to be racist or anti-racist. There's no neutrality. Take these nine steps to make equity a reality. Number one, open your eyes to all skin colors. Anti-racist baby learns all the colors, not because race is true. If you claim to be color colorblind, you deny what's right in front of you. Number two, use your words to talk about race. No one will see racism if we only stay silent. If we don't name racism, it won't stop being violent. Ernie, shh, come here. Number three, point at policies as the problem, not people. Some people get more while others get less because policies don't always grant equal access. Number four, shout, there's nothing wrong with the people. Even though all races are not treated the same, we are all human, anti-racist baby can proclaim. Number five, celebrate all our differences. Anti-racist baby doesn't see certain groups as better or worse. Anti-racist baby loves a world that's truly diverse. Knock down the stack of cultural blocks. Anti-racist baby appreciates how groups speak, dance, and create as they choose. Anti-racist baby welcomes all groups voicing their unique views. Number seven, confess when being racist. Nothing disrupts racism more than when we confess the racist ideas that we sometimes express. Number eight, 
Number eight, grow to be an anti-racist. Anti-racist baby is always learning, changing, and growing. Anti-racist baby stays curious about all people and isn't all-knowing. Number nine, believe we shall overcome racism. Anti-racist baby is filled with the power to transcend, my friend, and doesn't judge a book by its cover, but reads until the end. Awesome, that's a great book. Thank you guys for reading this book with me, Anti-Racist Baby. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, um, you can talk to your parents about this book. Um, you can always send me a video back with any questions or thoughts you might have. Uh, but I look forward to reading more books together um, in the weeks to come. All right, good night, good night guys. I hope you sleep well.